welcome 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 thank you guys so much for being here so today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different i am gonna be on the hot seat today yes and it's the perfect time to do it because it is nfp week and i did not take a trade today but also there's just not much going on in the markets for me so i wanted to take the time to say hello and welcome, especially to all the new people out there. I am so grateful for you guys for joining in and I hope you're enjoying the content and I'm really grateful for all of you. So thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to chat a little bit more about who I am and yeah, you guys could get to know me a little bit better and I'd love to get to know you guys too. So leave a comment and I will definitely, definitely, definitely reply. So. With that being said, cheers, welcome. Awesome. So yes, usually I post about trading content on my YouTube. <coughs> so this is kind of new territory for me. So bear with me. <laughs> I've tried to do some day in the light videos, but this one's just really me talking about me. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find some value from it. Now, I wore a nice fancy shirt for this occasion. <laughs> okay, my name is Alicia. I am from Canada. Yes, I am from that great white north. Yes. It is actually really beautiful up here. If you guys have never been to Canada, 100% would recommend checking it out. I am from Alberta, and if you guys don't know, Alberta beef is famous. So <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of farmlands out here, but I do live in a city, so I'm definitely more of a city girl at heart, but there is a lot of farmlands and space, so I really do love that. I graduated high school and then right away I got into cooking. Yeah, I was actually a chef for a bit. I went to school for culinary arts and got my red seal in cooking. So fun fact about me is I used to be a chef. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, I loved cooking, but I just realized that that wasn't the career for me. So I actually left that career path and I started doing sales. I was actually a door-to-door -door salesperson here in Canada, selling window cleaning, if you can believe it or not. So yeah, can you imagine me up at your door trying to do some window cleaning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I did that for a bit and I really did enjoy it. You know, it was fun. You we were outside all day. It was so exhausting because you would also have to be cleaning the window. So it was just really exhausting walking all day we'd be out from dawn to dusk cleaning windows uh, door knocking on doors so it definitely taught me a lot and i was doing that for a bit and then i actually moved out into bc to vancouver and i was doing it there for a bit too and i was loving it you know i also really like door-to-door -door sales because you get to connect with a lot of cool people but I would get great tans every single summer. I'd have like a tan line for the rest of the winter, <laughs> like a farmer's tan line. Yeah, yeah, and a shorts tan line. So it was kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I went to Vegas and I would be wearing a swimsuit and I would look super pale here, but have the farmer's tan down my arms and then the shorts tan, yeah. It looked like I was wearing a white bodysuit for most of that trip, yeah. But it was just so much fun to be out in the sun, you know, it was really good for me, for my health, like walking, and I really did love it. And then COVID happened, so a lot of things changed in my life. I actually moved back home back in with my mom and yeah, COVID was just a crazy time for all of us, hey? Like, it was crazy. So dealing with that, dealing with leaving my home in Vancouver, came back and kind of just figuring out what was next for me. And I didn't know, but I actually got back into cooking. So I ended up working at a resort 
in Canmore actually so it was gorgeous I was like loving the mountains the views it was beautiful it was exactly what I needed at the time but again I was back into cooking I was chefing it up and as much as I loved it and I loved the people and I loved my surroundings I just knew that in my heart that's not what I wanted for my life long term so kind of searching with that and dealing with that but then I I believe it was that like when I finally got back to work because sir like Canada we had this thing called Serb so we were all kind of on Serb at that time when I got back to work and I was in Canmore working at a resort cooking I was so happy to be back at work I'll tell you that much like it definitely saved me and definitely saved my mind but I think it just kind of reassured me of maybe this isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life. So out in Canmore, I actually found trading randomly. My friend posted about it on Snapchat of all things. And I was like, what is this? So it's just kind of been like this ongoing thing for a couple of years. I reached out to her. She was actually a part of I am Academy. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but that's actually what got me into trading. So as grateful as I am for I Am Academy, I wouldn't go back personally just because it wasn't so focused on trading. And I think too, like my trading didn't take off until I found ICT on YouTube. So finding him, I was finally starting to see profits, longer term profits. I was starting to realize, hey, like I can actually see the charts better with this kind of, with his work and I moved back to Vancouver, quit my job, moved back to Vancouver just because I loved it out there. And then I think that was probably one of the worst things I could have done because not having a job and trying to trade and I wasn't extremely profitable, you know, either. So I think it just kind of went sour for a bit and since it was my only source of income it was a lot of stress that I put on myself so a year later I moved back <laughs> I'm always moving back I cannot escape Alberta like I just I'm always moving back but I moved back and got a part-time job and instead of cooking I started doing serving and I really like serving again. I connect with people. So it's like something kind of along the lines of the service industry, but also the door to door sales sort of. So I started serving, I had a part-time job. And I think that's when my trading really started to take off again was when I wasn't so concerned about the money, right? And this time I was like, I'm just gonna take it a step back and really just focus on the skill, the skill set and not be worried about the money or the outcome. Let's just focus on the skill. Take me a year later, here we are. Yep, I just got a new place with my boyfriend downtown. So true, true city life. Super excited for that journey of my life. And I think my trading has just gotten extremely better. Like it has just been astronomically better and it's because of ICT no word of a lie but I think it's everything you know it has been the help of getting that part-time job and not being so reliant on money from the trading it has been like I have support systems here I have my boyfriend he supports me with everything I have my family, they support me in what I'm doing. And I think just having that support system has been huge. And also just like not having to worry about the outcome from your trades has been extremely huge for me. Yeah, so as of now, I am working on my top step challenge, my top step funded challenge. We are in profits. One of my goals, I did talk about this before, one of my goals this month is to pass the top step challenge. So we're working on that for sure. We're in profits. So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, it is NFP week, so I don't really want to trade today or tomorrow. 
next week will probably be better for trade opportunities, but it would be, yeah, one of my goals is to pass this month. And then I'll be on the funded trader journey. And it's just been like a really exciting but long process because I've been trading for about three years now, three years. It's been about three years. I've been doing ICT concepts for a year and a half, maybe. I first got introduced to trading probably 2021 because it was like January. So almost, you know, three and a half years, you know, so. But again, when I first got introduced to trading, I had no idea and I was just kind of going all over the place until I finally decided to take it seriously. And I think everything happens for a reason too, because if I hadn't quit my job, I wouldn't have been able to focus on the morning session. And I think the morning session is really where I shine. But at where I was working, I was the morning chef, right? Morning supervisor. So I wasn't able to trade the morning. I would only trade at night or study at night. And I think if I hadn't quit my job, it wouldn't have led me to being able to trade in the morning. So I think it all worked out the way it was supposed to. I mean, it was definitely hard and I definitely went through some hardships, but coming back and getting a part-time job in the evenings, you know, like focusing on my trading in the morning and then part-time job in the evenings has been really helpful. And overall, this trading journey has been nothing shy of it's ups and downs, 100%. Up, down, up, down, up, down. It's just like the charts. You know, like one week we're like trending, going higher, take out those relative equal highs. It's like amazing. And then the next week it's like, all right. <laughs> like, why am I taking three losses in a row? You know, it's so it's just been a, an, it's just been a crazy journey. And I think I'm still really excited about how far I've come as a trader. And yes, even though I have been trading for three years now, it's, I wouldn't take anything back. You know, maybe I would have got a part-time job sooner, sure. <laughs> but I wouldn't take anything back. And it's just been an incredible journey. And if anything, it has taught me so much about emotions, you know, patience, understanding, and just, being resilient because you really have to be resilient to overcome these markets. Because when you start having a losing streak and you're like, this is the end, you, it, you really have to start thinking, no, these are only a couple trades in my trading life. So yeah, that's kind of about a little bit about me, a little bit about where I've been and where I've come. <laughs> Maybe something about where I'm going, well, I want to pass this top step challenge this month. So we're going to see if that happens, be a funded trader. And then I think I'm just going to take it a step back and start doing minis again, or sorry, micros. And just really focusing on not the money, but just the process, getting really in tune with trading the micros, moving on to the minis and just focusing on my trading again, just like dialing in because I know like once I get funded that the emotions are gonna rise of, oh my gosh, I'm scared to lose this account. I'm scared to lose money, you know, cause it's like real then. And hopefully in a year I'll have my first payout. I'm not in a rush to get a payout either. That's the other thing, like having a part-time job, you're not in a rush to make money with trading. We're just really looking forward to the process and being able to say, hey, I've learned this skill. So yeah, I think in a year's time, having that first payout would definitely be a huge milestone for me. And then we'll kind of see where it goes from there. I mean, I love making this YouTube comment content, so I want to continue making this YouTube content. And I didn't think that talking with you guys today would be this vulnerable, I must say. It's just, it feels personal, you know, like it's my story. 
but it feels very vulnerable to be talking about this. So I really do appreciate you guys and I hope you found some value from this. And if anything, please let me know if you like this video, please tell me something about yourself. Like, let's connect. <laughs> I feel like I've just been so vulnerable today. I'm like, but yeah, that's a little bit about who I am, where I'm from, what got me to trading, and where I'm going. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate all the support. So I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day. And we will talk soon, P potentially tomorrow. Again, I'm probably not going to trade tomorrow, but it would be nice to, you know, hop on and say hello again. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys all soon. This one's for you. Cheers. Bye for now.